To see you again. Broken spatula, another mm -hmm. episode. This time you took, you're taking the lead, and you are bringing me some sort of crazy like fish sandwich. It's a crappy sandwich. Ham cheese. on a Sunday. On a Sunday. After a long Saturday night, a fun true. Saturday night. Hence, hence the shades. And we have Stephen here. Stephen. So almost like when we're looking at this camera, we're actually looking at it, Stephen. Yeah. Let's just name the camera Steven. Steven's name's the camera. So we have two Stevens. Steven, the yeah. uh, same Steven that comes with some of the broken uh, line stuff. And he's going to test out. We have, So we're making not only two, we're making three because we got to make one for, for Steven. So what so, is this? One day I made a, I had some walleye and I. Just one day? Just one day. I don't go and catch those right. things. They're kind of hard sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Especially uh, when you lip them. I was just craving a sandwich, and I was like, oh, you know, so I make this fish sandwich. I'm like, it's kind of lacking. So I made another fish sandwich, but this time I put ham on it and cheese on it got, a fish sandwich. So and I was crazy. like, oh, this is super good. So that's what we're going to make so, today. But we're it's not a, doing a walleye wall one, though. No, right? this is going to be the crappie swine deluxe. The crappie, which is already an awesome piece of fish. Yeah. And you like to go catch them. Yeah. Oh, that was what, 15, 16 inch crap? 14, 15? Uh, Let's go 14, 15. No, yeah. No, they're, they're more like 12, 13. No, inches. let's go 14. Okay. They were 14s. <laughs> he just missed a couple inches just. on the fillet. So we're, so we're taking that, yeah, and you are going to take that beautiful fillet, and you're kind of creating it into sandwich form. Yeah. And this is really easy to do. There's nothing fancy. In this bag is oven baked shore lunch. Oven baked. Because I don't have time to. Make some bread creative crumbs ones. and add my own secret spices. So, but if you wanted to, you could put yeah, your what, own recipe. Whatever bread comes into. Yeah, it. I just choose oven bake because deep frying fish is. And we messy. are. I was just about to say, and we are oven baking. Yeah, we're oven so. baking. It's uh, deep frying is is messy. It might well, taste a little better, but it healthy oven, wise. Oven baking is a little bit healthier. So we are gonna um, bake the crappie. So we're gonna batter it up, bake it, and then once we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna use the rest of the creations. Hey, you said easy. There's uh, you like these. Oh, you didn't go with the other ones, huh? No, no, I couldn't find the big ones. They were just a little dinner roll, Hawaiian. That was the Hawaiian dinner If you could find the Hawaiian sweet buns, but like the burger size ones, that's what you want. But these will work you know. just as good. Two different cheeses. Yep, we got a bacon cheddar, which that sounds pretty good. And then uh, just a sharp cheddar. Bacon cheddar is like a meal in itself, I think. Yeah. And then uh, just some thin, ultra thin deli ham that we'll put in Smoke a pan and warm up. Tartar sauce because yep. fish tartar sauce, and you kind of went Jack Daniel's mustard. Mustard, yeah. Um, I like I mustard on my fish once that. in a while. I would never think to use that. It uh, um, adds a little tart and adds a little fun to it. I'm up, I'm yeah. up for trying it. So, and then we got the br an egg. You use yep, two one egg. eggs, one eggs. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you just use your standard method of breading fish. Now, he was like, "Do you think anyone n doesn't know how to bread fish?" Uh, and I. We just decided to add it because I think it's Why the not? full process. Why not? So right. you're taking your filleted uh, crappie that you already filleted and you did not butcher any, by the way. That looks like an awesome fillet job. Oh, yeah, man. You don't want to mess that up. You dipper, work hard for those. Dip her into the egg. Make sure she's all soaked up. The, my, my dog's in the background going crazy. Dip it well, into the... Uh, he knows what's up. That's yeah, right. he's hungry. Dipping it into the egg, and then you put it into the shake bag, as we like to call her. Shake bag. Shake her it down. up. Yeah, I'm going to throw all three pieces in here. And then uh, you're using a normal tray, cookie tray, and you're spraying it Yep. Uh, with canola oil just to keep it... Um, keep it from so sticking. You can butter it if you want it as well. Yep. Just following the directions, baking-wise, on the box of Shore Lunch. And then on top of it, the oven is 400 for how long? 15 to 25 minutes. So you got a 10 minute window minutes. in there. Just to make sure it's kind of to your liking when you're when you got it all said and done. We preheated the oven already, so it's all ready to go. He's gonna shake it all up, dude. I'm pretty excited to try this. Yeah, it's solid. I, uh, 
I love fish, but not too many people you know bake fish. Right. And I just heard a GoPro beep. I did too. Interesting. I don't, know. I don't know where it was, but we'll get her figured out. So we're just gonna take these bad boys out. But yeah, so I I like uh, baked fish. Not too many people use baked fish, so yeah. to be able to uh, have it baked, I think, is awesome. And why not be able to have it in a sandwich? That's a little different. I like uh, I do like um, fish tacos. So this kind of yeah. is making me think of a fish taco, but not really. Dude, what so can't you make excited. a taco out of? Jeez. I don't know. We'll have fun on a crazy I mean, taco. Spree. Take a slab of birthday cake, put it in the taco shell. Call it a day? It would probably be good. Wrap her up in deep fryer, right. something crazy. That was a big crappie. That, that was, was at 15, tank. 16? Wow. You I want me to never... throw her in? I have... Yeah, man, go ahead and throw her in. Throw it in. Throwing it in. We'll okay. be back in 15 to 25 minutes. Ninja. So the timer is ticking down. Yeah, we're, it's cheese time. I love cheese. Let's do it. Cheese it up. So you're doing, instead of one piece of cheese on, we're doubling it up. Yeah, you can never go wrong with too much cheese. So you're going to so. do one sharp, one cheddar. Yeah, one, one, one sharp cheddar, one bacon. Bacon cheddar. Why don't you pull those dudes out? How's it looking? Oh, yeah. So. So we got about two minutes. We got about two minutes left on the timer. Um, and this is us thinking it about, what was it, how many minutes originally did we put it in there for? Well, I put it in for like 17. Like 17, so we're going to give her a couple more minutes just to golden brown her Make up. Make sure you take all the paper off. So Haley's gone to a few different restaurants before and she gets burgers and it's happened to her three times. She'll cut into the burger and these guys, wax ah. papers, are still in the way. Dude, it, would it, it smells good, doesn't it? We got the uh, the other cheddar. I'll just give her an open for you. Thanks, boss. It's already melting on there. Perfect. During the during the the twenty minute break, Stephen tried to get into the get into the fish without our consent, so he's gonna have to wait for his. That's gonna be a sticky mess there. There we go. Um, let's put those in for the last minute. Get the cheese nice and melted. Last two minutes. You can, uh, this would be a good time to do your bun prep. So I'm going to probably rock a little tartar sauce on the bottom and a little mustard on the top. Awesome. That's how I'm going to roll on mine. Um, I mean, yeah. You can go straight, straight tartar, whatever, man. It's blank canvas. It's sandwich, man. I mean, I'm not going to not do what you do, right? Because this is, this is something that needs to happen and... I'll even grab a knife out. Steven, do you want this straight tartar or mustard or? Do, do, uh, make it a double. Make it a double, <laughs> Steven says. Triple it up. So for anyone out there that's kind of used to having fish the same old way, yeah, I will let you know in a minute if I recommend trying it. You gotta be unique, right? Change it up a little bit. Like I said, man, food is an art. It's a blank canvas. There's no rules, except for, uh -oh. you know, a few cooking things, so you stay Three, healthy. Three, two, one. All right, th that stuff's probably done. Yeah, our cheese is looking sick, dude. Here, I got this. I'm gonna give her, give her an extra minute or so. Yeah. I just want that cheese to like fold over. So I, two things. So I have never had. Ooh, the ham, dude. I have never had fish on, uh, I mean cheese on a fit on fish. Like that's yeah. kind of blowing my, my mind right now that I'm watching kind of like it's a burger patty or something or chicken. Right. So, um, and you also said, so hopefully it's good, right? So you're, you said to do, you can, if you want, make the ham toasted before you Yeah, you on. can, you can kind of brown it up or crisp it up if you want in the no, we were pan. so hungry that we decided to just blow right past that option so if you right. wanted to toast the ham a little bit also toasting the bun and get um, the ultra thin sliced deli ham you don't want your ham to be too much yeah that's good we can toast the bun if we wanted to toast mm -hmm. the bun as well but again we're hungry we're ready but this uh Here's this ham these. just just sets the sandwich off should i give her a pull yeah let's pull it out let's do it Oh, 
Oh, show that. Oh, glorious. Oh, all that beautiful bean footage. Okay, spatula, but not a broken one. Let's see. Let's if get I a got, regular spatula. Let's see if I got one cleaned up. Oh, Yahtzee. There it is. So here we go. Stack it up. That looks delicious. It's like you're a professional spatula user. Heck yeah, dude. Usually when I spatula stuff, it just is a mess. Speed. Speed is the key when you're running a spatula. All right, here we go. Steven, you can grab yours. I'll, we'll ask your opinion in a second. I want you guys to go first because I've eaten these before. So <clears throat> if that doesn't look just absolutely gorgeous is that hot steven you can eat it you can eat it he says so this is what what are we what are you calling this well when i made the walleye one now, I you can't it, take a bite before me remember when i when i made the walleye one i called it the walleye town hustler so i don't know what we'll name this one crappie town hustler um too generic uh, how about Pig crappie sandwich, because there's some ham on there. Pig crappie sandwich. So, pig crappie sandwich, two kinds of cheese, a mustard, a crappie filet, some ham, some tartar sauce, and bread. I give it two spatulas up. Normally I talk with my mouth open, but this is the stuff. I was gonna say a swear word there. I leveled it down. It's not <laughs> that bad of a word. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I really like. Now I'm not comparing this to McDonald's, but the McDonald's filet o fish I love. This is like 15 times better than because that's like the only time I ever eat a fish sandwich is McDonald's, and of course. But this right here is absolutely. Got Amazing. a little bit of the, the ham. You were you were skeptical of the ham, weren't you? As I'm like, dude, are you sure? Because I got the text. Like, are you sure about ham? I'm like, yeah, positive. Well, I told Stephen too. I wasn't sure about the ham, but it is completely awesome. You can now take a bite of yours if you already have it. Really. Oh, I have. Broken, another broken spatula right here, Stephen. What's your take? Two spatulas up, brother. He gives it two spatulas up, and I hope that's out of two, right? Yeah, you can only it's have not, two hands. You can only yeah. have two hands, so two spatulas, perfect. Broken line podcast and we did broken it. spatula. First no, sandwich. Let's turn that thing off so I can really get down on this thing. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>